Hey Capricorn, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a little reading for you for March 1st through March 7th. All right, so this week's reading is going to be about what makes both of you feel uncomfortable, okay? And you probably know what that is. And it's like that's really the universe kind of tapping you on the shoulder saying that's what needs to be looked at. That's what needs to be addressed in some form or fashion. All right, so the green cards are going to represent your person. And the um, gold and black cards are going to represent you. All right, so the first two cards here are going to represent what makes you uncomfortable in this connection. The second two cards here are going to represent what, what spirit sees going on here. And the last two cards are going to represent what could happen when we face what makes us uncomfortable. Okay. So let's take a look at your person first. All right, so this is the justice card, okay? Um, what makes this person feel uncomfortable is that there might be a breaking of a contract here in some way, maybe a divorce. Um, it may be their divorce. It may be a divorce between the two of you. It could be a divorce that you are going through. Um, I feel like it's about detaching from a contract that they have some discomfort with, okay? This is a card of Libra. Okay, and all right, so we have here um, the Hermit. I feel like this person is very... Um, They have a really hard time being um, a, um, they're having a hard time looking within themselves for certain answers. I feel like they have a hard time being alone with their thoughts. Okay, uh, you know, and I don't know why that is, but I feel like they have a hard time being alone with their thoughts. I don't feel like they really want to think about whatever this is, detaching from some type of contract. It might pose worries for them. It might pose concerns as to how they move forward. I feel like it's something that is on their mind a lot, something that they try actually not to think about for some reason. Okay, It could be a very hurtful situation for them. Um, and then we have... All right, so we have the Strength card. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Leo, um, but this energy is whatever is going on for this person, I feel like it makes them feel very vulnerable in some way, and it makes them feel actually out of control. Like they don't have control over this situation. They may not have control over their own thoughts. I don't feel like they're comfortable being alone with their own thoughts right now for some reason, okay? Um, and this might be something that would be very hard for them to express to you. I don't know that they really feel like you would understand or it just feels like it would be very difficult. They feel it would be difficult to have a conversation about this because it makes them feel very vulnerable. So Capricorn, what is it that you are not comfortable with? Queen of Pentacles. This is Capricorn, okay? So in some way, you might be uncomfortable with yourself. In some way, you're uncomfortable with yourself. You're uncomfortable with the fact that you might have been very authentic with this person and maybe it didn't um, present the results that you were expecting. What else do we have? Page of Pentacles. You might have offered this person a new opportunity. 
you might have um, you might be talking about the future as though this is not going on and I feel like this is a bigger deal than you know okay this person might not be sharing how much this bothers them you know if it is a divorce they may not want you to know, you know, how devastated they actually are. Because if it is a divorce, it's like at some point they love the person that they were married to. And I feel like divorces bring up a lot of those old feelings for, for, uh, for your person. So it would make sense that they are uncomfortable with those feelings, okay? And it might be something that they're uncomfortable talking about with you, but they feel very alone. And I feel like they, um, they really don't like being with their own thoughts right now. It's interesting. So how does spirit see this? We've got three of pentacles. And what else? Hangman. I feel like Spirit is saying that this is ultimately going to come together for, for both of you. I feel like you might be going through a rough patch right now with somebody. You might feel like they have detached from you. You might feel like um, they're seeking answers from other people besides you. You might feel a little excluded from this person's life. Hangman energy, you feel like you're a little bit hung up. But I feel like Spirit is saying, you know, try to look at things maybe from their perspective a little bit because that will give some enlightenment. And Spirit is saying relax because I feel like this is something that is meant to come together. So let's see. Let's see. All right, so this last row is about, you know, if we divulge what we're uncomfortable with, Okay, and for you, it might be something you did or something you said or something you offered to this person that maybe didn't get the response that you were hoping for. So let's see what happens when maybe we have a conversation about what we're uncomfortable with. All right, so we have Emperor, another card of control, card of Aries, and then we have Five of Wands. Here's what I feel like is coming from this. You know, it feels like the two of you might have some disagreement. You might have even an argument, okay? But I feel like it gives you a greater sense of knowing what is going on, knowing what is going on with this person, giving you some timeline structure as to you know, maybe when this person's going to be available, you know, to fully give to this connection and come together. But I do feel like <clears throat> there might be some conflict along the way. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, <clears throat> you might be avoiding conflict. They might be avoiding conflict when there is actually two points of view here. It doesn't have to be an argument, but it might just be a discussion that allows you to kind of work things out, give you some peace of mind as to, I, I feel like timing is a big thing here. Like just knowing the timeline or having some idea of when something's going to unfold is a big deal. I feel like mainly for you, like right now, you just may not know. What is fully going on with this person? They may not be divulging. All right, so let's get some clarification for your person with this detach and with this seek. And then for you, I'm going to clarify these two cards here. Queen of Pentacles, which is you. Page of Pentacles. All right, so let's see. For, for this person, what do we have? 
Look at five of wands. So this person sees what they're going through as being very challenging. So I feel like a lot of their energy is going into detaching from some type of contract, okay? And it might be a lot more difficult than they're letting on, all right? So they don't fully know where they stand in this situation, so it might be very hard for them to give you that timeline that you want or the give you better expectations of what to expect. Hermit, clarified by the high priestess. And you can see the word listen here. I feel like this person, you know, again, I feel like they're having a hard time listening to their own thoughts, their own intuition. Like their intuition I don't feel like is very clear for them right now because they're caught up in something that's happening in the physical world. So they're not really able to, again, I don't feel like they're comfortable being alone with their own thoughts. I feel like they're distracting themselves and they're not listening to their intuition. If they were, they might um, hear that you feel a little hung up about when the two of you might be able to get together or see each other or go on a date or be together, okay? Because I don't feel like this person is listening to their intuition. So for you, Queen of Pentacles clarified by Temperance. So what you're uncomfortable with for some of you is a Sagittarius, okay? For whatever reason, it can be multiple reasons. Um, but what you're uncomfortable with is having patience, having patience with this person as they go through something, all right? Again, timing. I feel like it's about timing for you. Page of Pentacles clarified by <laughs> the devil, which is you again, okay? So you feel a deep bond with this person, and I feel like, you know, if this wasn't going on, I feel like we would get a clearer picture of what's going on with them with you but you made an offer you talked about a new opportunity that I feel like didn't get the response that you might have wanted and I feel like this is all about timing so let's see what is at the end of the rainbow what is the pot of coal pot of <laughs> not pot of coal pot of gold, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow for you, okay? Because this might be a very frustrating time for you. Whoops. Wow. Look at that, what just fell out. Star and Knight of Wands. We'll see if that comes back out. Knight of Wands is Sagittarius, by the way. All right, so let's see. Aren't these pretty cards? I have to say, I think they are so pretty. Okay, so what's at the end of the rainbow here? Look at this, a higher view. So 41 breaks down to a five. I feel like you're eventually going to understand, you know, what this, what the, the lack of timing or not the lack, the, the challenge around timing was with this connection. You're going to have a higher perspective, a higher viewpoint. Okay. And I feel like it changes your perspective. So what's the pot of gold? We have Page of Wands, we have Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Hangman. So, you know, we've had the Hangman twice, so I feel like at the end of the day, there is something that you're not seeing. This is what you're not seeing is a higher view, a higher perspective. 
um, of something that you might have said, okay? Something you might have said or did or shared. You might have done it in a rather passionate, maybe even immature way. You're going to realize that your person, because of that information that you shared, because of that offer you might have shared, did nothing but try to work on their life, work on things, work on freeing things up, work on freeing themselves, work on bettering themselves to make something work for you and, you know, to enlighten you. It feels like this person wants to get their ducks in a row before you receive that enlightenment. And that might be frustrating. And again, the timing is frustrating for you. But I feel like they're working on it behind the scenes. There's things going on that you aren't seeing. Just because you're not seeing everything, okay, right? Just because you don't have this higher view right now doesn't mean that things aren't happening. So this is about trust too. But your pot of gold is going to be about having a higher perspective of what's going on. I feel that will make you appreciate this person even more than you do now. Okay? All right. Capricorn, that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, you can definitely reach out to me, of course. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. All right? Thanks so much. Bye.